Get your CGR shirts and glassware at ClassicGameRoom.com. Classic Game Room is brought to you by Magnum Skywolf. CGR is supported by fans on Patreon. Thank you. Welcome to Classic Game Room for the review of Solar Storm on Atari 2600 from Magic, another great Atari game played with the paddle controllers. Love these things. Solar Storm from 1983 combines three things that I like a lot. The Atari 2600, Imagic, and the paddle controllers. Is it a game that you should add to your Atari 2600 collection? Well, it's interesting. Primarily because the controls seem intentionally broken. I love the sound effects, but as you can tell, the left to right motion of my laser cannon is somewhat erratic. Which is actually a bit of an understatement. I had to play a couple other paddle controller games just to make sure my paddles weren't broken. As far as I know, after playing some Circus Atari and Breakout, they're not. They work fine, but that's just the way this game plays. You don't have any smooth motion to the left or right. It's very, very jerky. Which gives the entire game a really intense feel. how jerky these controls are. Which is, I assume, what they were going for, but this is from a magic after all, who can say? They weren't just high on life. They were high on Atari. And uh, probably a whole lot of other things. What you do in Solar Storm is fairly simple. You laser everything flying towards your planet until it explodes. If you let any of these aliens crash into your planet, the heat level of the atmosphere begins to rise, and then you're incinerated, where your only reward is pain and death and really cool sound effects. There's a little mini boss battle or bonus stage there where I think you can score some extra ships. Eventually, Solar Storm just gets so fast that there's no way to keep up with the game, and considering the lack of precision that you have anyway, there's really no point. Just give up. Just hand the planet over to your new alien overlords before it's too late. There's a bit of strategy. The ones that come in making noises, like the da -da 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 -da, they're worth big points. And if you can destroy them before they crash into you or the surface, they'll take out some of the enemies as well. Now, the laser-firing aliens can only shoot once. And it's really dangerous to get beneath them before they shoot, so watch for them to fire, then shoot them, but once the game speeds up, that's kind of irrelevant. And then you have the ones that come flying at you like the drunk, and ultimately, you're totally screwed, so it's awesome. My favorite feature in Solar Storm is the sound effect when your planet starts pulsing as the heat level rises to insane intensity. My brain is melting and I love it. Solar Storm is probably average at best. It's not one of a magic's greatest games, but I love a good paddle controller game on the Atari, and the sound effects are terrific. Nothing's getting through my wall of laser! Wall of laser! Kenny, 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 Kenny! If you're collecting for the Atari 2600 and you're just going to buy a few of the paddle controller games, start with the big ones like Super Breakout, Warlords, and Demons to Diamonds, one of my personal favorites. 
As you begin to dig deeper into the Atari's catalog, pick up a couple of these odd ones, especially the Imagic games. There's just something to them. And while Solar Storm plays like a game where you're just wrestling against the controller, it's, it's kind of fun, and the fact that it sounds like a giant distorted synth pad really helps. And as you might expect, I've got a classic game room. Shout out and thank you going to Matt from Oviedo, Florida. Oviedo. I think that's how you pronounce that. Thank you, Matt, for sending Solar Storm to the show. You know I love a good battle controller game on the Atari. Rapid fire won't help you in Solar Storm. Aiming and precision won't help you in Solar Storm. Luck abandoned you long ago. You're doomed. So turn up the volume and enjoy your final moments in Solar Storm. Yo, just a heads up that after posting this review, a number of the Patreon backers who saw it early access said that their copies of Solar Storm played just fine. So the jittery controls may not have been intentional, but as you can see from Circus Atari here, it's not the controller. Also, I cleaned Solar Storm, it still didn't fix it. So apparently my game is just jittery, which does sort of add a, a bit of an erratic nature to it. Still a fun game. Thanks for watching. If you're going to buy the game anyway, buy it through ClassicGameRoom.com. Classic Game Room is supported by fans on Patreon. Thank you. Now prepare for the Lord Carnage Club where I celebrate these backers on Patreon by shouting their name in a volcano! Derek Langley. Beer is the trick. Steven Chucknick. From... New Jersey! Michael Fernandez! People not named Michael Fernandez aren't Michael Fernandez. Al Stiver! Woo! Jason, 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 Jason from British Columbia! Philip Straubenmuller from Vienna, Austria! Cue the thunder! Jeff! Captain Dauntless! Briar! Cue the lava. I don't know what lava sounds like. It sounds like this. Jack Stavris from Australia. Oh hi, Cunny. Master of Thunder. Chip Sankvale, fighter of space bees. Woo! Rick DeBarros gets the extra disco. Michael and Ariana Nelson, Nelson. fighters of the future. That's enough disco, because now it's time to shout BUSY SIGNAL! That's right, and keep the volume loud, and the party rocking, for... Sean Zoltek. Really? No. Sean Zoltek! Sergio Matthias Hergert! Tubular. Will. Will. Will? Will? Will! Will.